Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the coiling of your shoulders, and this is going to help to unlock more potential power on your forehand. I'm gonna go over the simplicity of the coil and how it's gonna to help to elevate your game. Just a key tip to remember before we start is to make sure that you use both of your hands. You use your dominant hand when holding on the racket at the base, and you use your off hand to hold at the preparation a little bit higher on the throat of the racket. What you want to imagine is that your off hand is helping to coil to bring the racket behind your body, and then you want your main dominant hand to be holding at the base of the racket. As you can see that the tip of the racket stays high in front of my body, what I do not want to do is I do not want to turn my arms by themselves. I want to imagine that the racket is connected to my belly button. So as I'm coiling and turning, as you can see with my body here, that my chest is out to the side and this is all down to my belly button. So watching how my rackets are coiling from here, this helps me to store the energy rather than me bringing my arms up to the side like this because then I'm getting no upper rotation of my body. The reason why I love this coiling tip, it's so effortless. You're able to store energy and relax into your shots. There is no need to prepare later when the ball is coming fast towards you and then you have to rush with your open swing. And as you can see, I've separated my racket from my offhand and therefore my timing is gonna be slightly displaced. What I want to do is after that split set, as soon as I see the ball coming to my forehand side, I wanna prepare out with my racket. And then this helps me when moving out to the ball and striking through my shots. So for one of my favorite exercises to help you with the coiling of your shoulders is to use your off hand to help start by placing the racket out to the side. It's usually in line with that back hip or even slightly behind the body. This to help you with gripping the racket, to help you store in that energy to release into your shots. Now for the full exercise, I'm gonna start with my right hand as I'm left-handed, but left hand as you are right-handed. You're gonna start with the racket out to the side and then you're gonna grip the racket with your dominant hand ready to strike. So hold, coil, and rip. Hold, place it to the side. And as you can see, my racket's already prepared to the side before the ball has even bounced. This just helps with the simplicity of your full swing. So prepare, rip, and rip. I'm gonna show you a nice simplistic way to help you with your preparation on your forehand. What you wanna imagine is that the tip of the racket is slightly angled upwards before you start your swing. This helps to help you with that continuous motion of dropping below the ball and striking through your shots. One of the best players to do this on the tour right now is Jessica Pagula. As you can see from the simplicity of her forehand take back, she starts nice and high, dropping just below the ball and swinging. Another thing to mention about Jessica's swing is that she's very smooth and continuous. She does not stop on her forehand swing. I'll show you a few examples. High, drop, and swing. High, drop, and swing. Drop, and swing. What I'm gonna to add to this stroke is I'm gonna add a little bit more coil and rotation. So what we're predominantly working on in today's video is the upper trunk rotation. As you can see that my racket is stored a little bit further behind my body than where Jessica would have it. Jessica would release a little bit earlier. What I'm doing is I'm bringing my racket so it's in line with my back hip or just behind my body before separating with my arms to swing through my shots. So as you can see, I'm coiling a little bit further, but I have the same principle of Jessica holding high, and then releasing through, rack it high with the preparation and releasing through. Two of the big stars in the men's game is Carlos Alcaraz and Novak Djokovic, to name a few. And these guys in particular have a very nice coil with the storing energy of the shoulders. It looks like they've slightly exaggerated the coil. As you can see, if I'm turning my shoulders like this, can you see where my chin is? It's slightly on my shoulder and also you can tell that when i'm coiling here can you see that my elbow is pointing towards where you are so they're storing all that energy from starting position and then they uncoil and release their arm through and as you can see my elbow is finished through my chin is on my shoulder on my other side so i'm going to show you a few examples when striking the ball to give you a better picture stored energy and release i love that saying when you just prepare a little bit longer with your body out to the side before the ball bounces all you need to do is kind of unravel after, so it's release. Now I'm gonna show you some of my shots in action at my full injection of pace. Let me know what you think. The difference now between my forehand previous and to now is the loading from the legs. As you can see, I'm driving up and I'm exploding into my shots. And with the added coil, I'm able to exaggerate and give myself that little bit more power. As you can see, I'm getting a lot of good control. 
I'm gonna now show you some videos of some of the top pros in the tennis game with a very good coil, and I'm gonna break it down for you. So stay tuned, it's gonna be very interesting to see exactly what the pros do and how they do it. Firstly, I want you to take a look at Carlos Alcaraz and his shoulder coil. As you can see, I've drawn an arrow to point out where his chin is on his shoulder, and as you can see, the spacing with the racket arm just behind him. This is very important when storing up the energy so that you're able to gather as much momentum and power into your shots. As you can see, the red lines are drawn so that you can see that he's bridging the gap between his elbow and his body for his racket to then drop smoothly so that he can then accentuate that power as he's driving up into the shots. Here's a great video of Jessica Pagula. As you can see, Coco Goff's on the other side striking the ball. Just before the ball bounces, Jessica Pagula is making sure that she coils her shoulders and as you can see, the left arm is out to the side. This helps to store the energy of the shoulders and giving that upper rotation when developing a lot of power. Another thing to notice is that she has a very wide base as well. This is so that she's able to push from the ground up when striking into that forehand. Please let me know in the comments if you found this video useful in helping you to develop more power on your forehand. And if you enjoy more tennis content, be sure to subscribe as well. Take care guys and I hope to see you soon.